Welcome to the Axiom. New file detected. Launching file. I guess that's it. Is that just going to be it? That's the end of the world. I'm um, ring the bell. I'm calling the Dream King again. <laughs> is she trying to sing? Or I, yeah, she is trying to sing, but... Oh, I'm playing all of their instruments. Is everyone gonna try and sing with me? Or is this just like happening in his head? This is, this is nice. I don't think, I don't know if this is actually going to help, but, oh. Is this actually going to help? But I mean, I guess the point is that he's trying. Oh, I guess the mermaids actually came back. This is Kismet. His mom. <laughs> and Santa Claus, which is probably his dad. I messed it up, the world is doomed. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. They're still performing, huh? Oh, 
honestly one of the best parts of the game, this band right here. I do love that it's showing all the places we visit we visited and stuff. Probably. Oops. Nope, wrong string. Are the bugs going to start singing? going to show even more people now. So that's everyone in Delphi. Like I said, I wonder if this is actually going to help. Because like they said, it's never worked. That's all the people we met in... Um on that island that I, whose name I can't remember. <laughs> this will be everyone in uh, Kismet. It is nice that everyone is singing, even if it ends up not working, it's just nice. No. This music is really nice. 
This is everyone in uh, Roulet and Chandesh. He got a new accordion. That's all of the, like, two royal guards singing together. some very nice like upbeat music I'm wondering because we're still missing a piece of the song though technically ah the little whales are singing too Did never find the last, uh, the last do the last mountain song. All right. I wonder if it's all, they're all singing together just to welcome the end of the world. Maybe this is Bran's way of accepting it. Oh, it's showing everyone. Aww. Miriam. I am so, 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 so proud of you two. We did it. Right? Did we do it? I thought it was over. We never got the last piece of the Earth song. I thought so too. But in the end, it didn't matter. When you reached out with your voice, the whole world answered back. And Aya heard you. She saw you all working together just for a moment, and it was just enough to harmonize with her new song. What you sang wasn't the Earth song. It was something special that only you could have done. And even after an infinite infinities of universes beginning and ending and beginning again, I've never seen anything like it. That's why I'm so proud of you two. Nobody ever tried like you did wasn't even supposed to be possible. But you made it possible. You changed the rules forever. You gave hope to everything that exists. And that's just so special.
Oh. I guess that's the end. <laughs> Are they about to turn into new overseers? here. You said you wanted to check in on your friends, right? Just let me know when you're ready to move on. I never thought I'd see the day, but peace talks are finally happening between Ch Chandesh and Roulet. If only Hala were still here to see it. I'm keeping her intentions in my heart and trying to speak in her place here. It's never easy with mother's stubbornness, but I suppose that was Hala's challenge as well. Feels so bizarre. Sitting here and talking to the Witch Queen. Like she's just another person. We spent our whole lives afraid of you. Get over it. I'm not going to live forever. We don't have time for distrust. I need to know my people will have peace after I'm gone. The Sky Temple was destroyed in the monster outbreak. It's too important a place to leave like that. Are you going to rebuild it? Uh, I thought you people wanted the temple. I thought you did. Well, we did. Until I got busted. Maybe we should... Rebuild it together. Yeah. Like a symbol of our truce. That's a splendid idea. It's hard knowing what to ask for here. All we other, ever really wanted from you was to be left alone, I guess. Leaving alone is what got us into this mess. Where our communication died, distrust grew. Until we lost all concept of your true intentions. We need the promise that we won't be alone anymore. We are here together, and that isn't about to change. So if we are to coexist peacefully, we need to work together. It's you. I promised myself if I ever saw you again, I'd capture you and put you back in prison. But now we're in peace negotiations, so your counts of treason are currently suspended, I suppose. Boss! You made it back! We were keeping Chanda safe, safe while you were away! It was tough. The monsters just got worse and worse. Tough for regular old witches, maybe. But not for us. No, it really was tough, though. Yeah, I guess it was pretty tough. But then, all at once, they just vanished. It was a miracle. They probably gave up, gave up after we fought them, fought them so hard. Something really special happened, I think. We heard your voice from far, far away. Well, more than just your voice. It was something huge! A million voices all at once. Like that song you sang to the king and queen. That's how we knew it was you, boss. And all at once, everyone started singing along. It felt really powerful. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You actually have a really nice singing voice, San. Oh, thanks. It looks like the war is ending. So maybe Chandish won't need protectors anymore. Yep, it's true. We were talking about retiring the masks. I'm ready to just be a regular witch again. I'm not yet. We could fight crime here at home. But I couldn't do it without you, San. Aw, shucks. Aw. Ready to keep going? Yeah. I think I saw Kickstarter backers in the, um... Credits? That's really cool. I actually didn't know this was a Kickstarter game. So is the, the new Moon King Queen person? Mm hmm. Ready to keep going? Not yet. Okay. Well, let me know.
Hola! Looks like we have a special guest in the audience. Now that our borders are open again, we've hit the road. Or the river with my boat. We're a sailing band. Like pirates? Not... Not really. But look, I even got a new accordion. We still remember your song, too. That's right. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Haha, -ha, let's go. And a one, two, three, four. <laughs> oh god. So offbeat. <laughs> I'm not smashing my accordion this time. It's really expensive. <laughs> Wayfair. It's been a time and a half, eh? I'm grateful just to be alive. After all and we and the world went through, didn't think I'd ever see the capital again. And look, there's witches here too now. Everything's changing so fast. But after so much war, that's a good thing. I think I'm ready for some wayfaring of my own. I'm gonna take my banjo and see the world. Any way I can, wayfarer. Because there's so much to do and so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. Oh no. Oh no. And you'll never shine if you don't glow. Oh no. Hey, now you're a rock star. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I want to be like you, Wayfarer. Traveling the world with a song in my heart. Making people happy wherever I go. Yeah. Everyone will know I'm coming by the sound of my banjo. And they'll call me by a special name. Like that guy Phil with the banjo. Yeah. That's the dream. Oh, they have cookies, Juan. It was so scary. I thought for sure the world was ending. I'm glad it didn't. Good thing the hero saved us. She's the coolest ever. I just wish I met her when she was here. Nobody knows where she is now. She vanished. I bet she wanted to live like a normal person now that the world is saved. She's so humble. Me, I would want to be famous. I really wonder what she's doing now. I want to be strong like her someday. Hello again. Did my flower come in handy? You said it was to save the world or something, didn't you? The world's still here, so it must have worked. Ha <laughs> ha. My husband gave me that flower many years ago. It was a hardy one. I was protective of it since it was the last thing I had of him. But of course that's not true. I have all of our happy memories together too. The flower wasn't worth much by comparison. Giving it away felt like the right thing. Thank you for playing is in the credits now. I guess they're done. I was finally able to move on with my life. See, I even left the house. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm in a wonderful mood, the likes of which I haven't been in a long, long time. So I made cookies. I'm sharing them with everyone today. Aww. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. So now do we, uh, oh. Nah, it wasn't done. I'm just play a song? Nah. Alright then, amigo. Oh, is it? Okay, I'm actually kind of thankful that I can't, uh, talk to them. There'll be a lot of talking. Ready to keep going? Yeah. A new Sun King, too. Or maybe it's a queen? Who knows? Oh, 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 it's my muffin. Are you finally moving back in with Mama? No. What a shame. Your father finally came home after all these years. He settled in completely right away. Now I can't get him to leave. I couldn't even make him come out to say hello. That's okay. I don't even remember what he looks like. Muffin. That's too sad for me to even think of. You grew up without a father's love. Maybe that's why you turned out like this. Muffin, 
Even if you are very strange. You know your mama loves you, right? I wish I saw you more. And he'd never say it, but I'm sure your father is ashamed for never seeing you. We should all have a meal together someday soon. And be a family again. All we have in this world is each other, Buffin. Let's not let each other go. Okay. Yeah, you came back. Me and Kona are doing great so are doing so great. We never would have come together without you. Thank you so much. I mean it. She taught me a lot about myself. Nobody in this town ever believed in me before you. But now it feels like everyone does. It's hard feeling worthless. It's hard when nobody cares about you. Because you can't if you because you can't control if they do. But you can control if you care about other people. Kona gave me someone to care about. I'd never had that before. But once I did, it made me feel so cared for too. Now that Alara is opening up opening up a lab, I think I'm going to help her to help out there. I've never done science before, but I want to learn. Being with Alara makes me feel so special. It feels like we can do anything with her. Bark. Hmm. All right. Is there? Ah, it's the uh, Peter. You've returned. We've been toiling away here after our quest to destroy the factory. We had to create something to replace it. Miss Astronomer, that is, Alara, she has such grand vision for the city. I couldn't help but be taken up by it. I see Miriam is here as well. Part of me wishes to speak with her again, but I suppose things are awkward. Miriam and I are on separate journeys. I can see now that it was never meant to be. If only I'd ha I'd the wisdom to know when it know it when she did. My heart still burns for her, but in a respectful, non-romantic way. In the cold, dead city of Kismet once was Miriam's passion burned loud and bright, but now the people of Kismet are free, and our dreams, which are frozen beneath the snow, can finally bloom here once more. It is a new life for all of us here. Okay, you are still glitching with that. Okay. Oh. Hi. Ah, my old cohort. How do you do? With the Baron stepping down from the factory, I've seized the means of toy production and repurposed it to be my new laboratory. There is so much machinery in here with so much potential. We could use it to manufacture new technologies. To benefit to the benefit of everyone. That's my vision for this place. One by one, all the stars went out. Until none were left. I was watching the sky at that moment. It sent a shiver down my spine. I was sure the world had come to an end. But then, all at once, the sky was filled with completely new stars. New constellations, new galaxies. A new hope for us. I don't know how long our lease on existence has extended, but it made me reconsider what I was doing with mine. That's what brought me here. They say the stars guide our destinies, that some can be born under a lucky star, and some not. I think it's a load of shark quack, part of my language. But there's something poetic about a new sky of stars, isn't there? The old stars that guided us are dead. And now our destinies are in our own hands. We get to decide what will become of this world moving forward. Maybe that was always true. But now I believe it. I hope to create a good future. Alright. Ready to keep going? Yeah. A new, uh... King of Order. Mighty, it's been so long. Have you been adventuring? We've been on some our some our own. The mermaids joined our crew now. We sound better than ever, matey. You gotta sing with us again soon. I came into this world with a dream, to captain my own pirate crew. And when I saw my first mermaid, I had one more dream, to see her again. All my life, just to make those things real. And now they are. It's something special, matey. 
I feel blessed every day. This, this crew's more than a crew. We're a family. A family we all chose together. And now that my dreams came true, I want to foster their dreams. That's what a good captain ought to do. And remember, matey, this family, you'll always be like a weird cousin or something. <laughs> what I'm saying is you can come back anytime. We love you, matey. Aw. Whoa. Me and my girls are taking over the ship. No more hiding out on secret islands for us. We're adventurers now. It's pretty great. The captain is an alright guy, turns out. He was really weird when we first met, but he kind of chilled out. I like his pirate persona, and I also like being a pirate. It's a cool new direction for us. Melanotaina. What's next for us? I don't know. I'd like to travel the world, see something besides just the ocean. I hear there's uh, these other ocean types, called like rivers or lakes or something. Those sound pretty chill. All right. Youngun, I made it back in one piece, ah. Huh? I was worried. Didn't think you had it in you. Kids like you don't go far in this world. At least, I thought so. Bet you've seen some things now. Maybe you're crusty as old Lou now. <laughs> no, you definitely ain't. I ain't one to leave the ship much, but the sky's putting on quite a show today. Ain't ever seen something like it. You gotta be grateful for life's miracles. The bard of 105,000 beans is back. Business has been going well. All these bozos have been worrying about mermaids. I have been keeping our bean flow strong. Money isn't going to make itself. I mean, I haven't been all business, but mostly. I care so much about this crew. I want them to have good lives, you know? That's why I got to be the one to keep our eyes on the beans. I like my job. Kept us going this long. It's so great to see you again. You've got to have a strong coffee with the crew later. Or, oh, right. You and coffee don't mix well, do you? Well, I've heard about this new thing called decaf. If you like terrible things... <laughs> Why, if it isn't the silly one. Back for more, huh? Just kidding. The truth is, this whole crew is as silly as I come. I've been fooling myself denying the obvious truth. It's good to have you back. So actually, I've been thinking about quitting coffee. Yeah, I don't sleep great on it. It makes me feel anxious all the time. I haven't been on any... I haven't even had any today yet. The sky is exploding with glowing stars. So it hasn't been too hard to stay awake. Cool. And is uh, someone in the crow's nest? Heh. The cool kid's back. Look up the sky. Isn't it pretty? Stars have been falling all day. Never seen something like it. Feels like today's really special somehow. I guess it must be special, since you came back too. What was your adventure like? Was it cool? Bet you didn't make any friends as rad as us. Right? <laughs> I really missed you and stuff. I liked singing with you. We should go on another adventure together. That would be so fun, if you want. All right. Ready to keep going? Yeah. <laughs> Blub. I like how there's new overseers now. <laughs> Is Delphi next? Seems to be going in backwards order. Oh no. Welcome back to Delphi. Remember that? It's the melody you were from my candy shop, Skipper. I wrote some new lyrics in case I ever saw you again. It brought the kids into the shop like crazy. Just like I wanted. Thank you. Uh... No... <laughs> Hang on. Is there anything more down here? Fre Frederick. Oh, you! Performer from the Crazy Raven, isn't it? The one who got us together. Cool seeing you again. It's been a real roller coaster here. I think the world almost ended. I don't know if I would have managed without Frederick to talk me through it. So thanks. It's true. I don't know where to be sure where, where I'd be sure without Sue. She taught me so much. 
I'm trying to be less critical now. You are a kind person, and I appreciate you. How did I do? I can't believe Delphi's still here. When we left, it really seemed like it was over for this place. I'm glad. I went and visited my mom's grave. I wish I could talk to her again. I've been around the world now, playing my accordion. Just like her. And I think I'm getting pretty good, too. I wish I could show her. I wonder what she would think of all of it. The world changed, somehow. Didn't it? There was a time when everything was bleak, and it felt like all the spirits were of the world were close. But it's not like that now. It feels more stable now. Peaceful, even. I don't feel the same fear I used to. But I do miss feeling her close. Well, I know she's still out there. I just hope I made her proud. Ace! When do we find each other here again in Delphi? We didn't think we'd ever be back here. And you neither. But a miracle's happened. Delphi's shining brighter than ever. And we're back from an adventure around the world. It feels like the spirit is back. We're gonna play some shows here they never forget. Looks like your journey's about over too, eh? You've gotta sing with us again. What do you say? Totally. But not right now. I haven't been home in forever. I wanna have some rest. But I promise I'll be back. I'll hold you to that, Ace. The whole band misses you like crazy. I couldn't stay out of Delphi for too long. She's my town. She gave me so much growing up. Maybe I've been all over the world now, but I wouldn't have gone anywhere if not for her. I owe her a lot to this place, and I'm gonna keep giving back, because I'm sure somebody out here needs my help too. Feels good to be back in Delphi. It's the same class of stump as before, but I've gone through a transformation. I played my heart out on the world stage. I've soared like an eagle. Being here reminds me of how far I've come. I have to thank you again for bringing the band together. Manny's rough around the edges, but he gets gigs. And Ash is a downer, but their accordion sings like an angel. And then there's me. We make a great team together. You'll sing with us again someday too, won't you? We're having a bit of a comeback tour here. Back in the crazy raven again. Oh, it's so perfectly full circle. And after that, who knows? It feels like we go anywhere now. I'm sure we will. Oh, wow. I traveled here on your recommendation. Oh, that's that's kind of funny. Remember? But I didn't expect I'd see you again. There's something special about seeing a familiar face in a strange place. I've got to put that in my travel guide. Delphi Reese really seems like a lively, fun place. I'm excited to see that band you mentioned. Ah. And last would be Langtree, right? Miriam doesn't seem angry now. Yeah. And now a King of Winds, maybe? <laughs> a very angry... Not angry, but just like... Meh. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that feeling. Oh. Not yet. Oh, it's so good to see you. Miriam's told me so much about you. She did? Oh my, yes. She cares about you so much. And you made her feel a kind of warmth she never had before. She might even never tell you that. But it meant so much to hear that from her. She's such a lonely girl, you know. Thank you for being there for her. I had no idea I'd ever see you two again. Of course I hoped. But the situation was so hopeless. All I really wanted was for Miriam to see the world and make a friend before she lost the chance to ever do those things. I'm so much more grateful for that than I am for the world being saved. I knew right when we met that you were someone special. This world can be so dark. We need people with the courage to smile and to look out for the lost and lonely. There are so many out there who need help like Miriam. We all need a bit of love. Aww. Oh. Oh, the human. 
the okay human. We've met some more okay humans. The switch kept us safe when the world fell apart. We're starting to think humans might just be okay. Only just starting though. They might still be terrible. I think they're okay. It's hard to forgive after what happened to us. That human was definitely terrible. With the scarf and the lightning sword. I think I know who you're talking about. You know that one? They're so bad. Hmm. Humans aren't really like that. I promise. Or definitely not all like that. Sometimes we can be real jerks. But there's good ones too. Please don't give up on us. Ah. Is there anyone over here? Ready to keep going? Yeah. What? You're leaving just like that, Miriam? After bringing your friend all this way? That simply won't do. Ask if they'd like to stay for dinner. You want to stay and have dinner with us? That sounds nice. <laughs> and that's the last one, I think, right? <laughs> So, this is goodbye, huh? Just for now, but we're gonna hang out all the time, right? I hope so. <laughs> Aww. I'm tired. Me t I'm tired, me too. <laughs> we came a really long way together, didn't we? Yeah. Thanks for saving the world with me. Yeah. Thanks. For... Being my friend. Aww. Okay. Bye! Well, I have one more secret to find. I've witnessed the end of the world. So what's over here? What? I can't go over there. Oh. Are those all the dances? So I missed something. I think there might, I think I missed two dances. I don't know where they would have been though. Go home. <laughs> so I wonder where Audrey went. The end. You can now access scene select. Okay. Uh. 
I'm still acting like I'm... So I can still hear jumping noises as if, as if I'm like out here, but I'm not. I'm asleep. So I guess... Yeah, that's it. Um, that was really... That was something. Um, I'm a little bit sad that Miriam and Bran didn't fall in love, but that's okay. Their friendship was still really cute. Um, and they, di they didn't, like, need to fall in love. It just felt like, like, they needed each other. Like, when they were both alone, they had, they had each other. So. But yeah, that is the end. Um, overall, I thought, I thought I, I had fun. Um, it, it was a very cheesy, very, like, uh, yeah, it was very cheesy, but it was very cute, and I think that's the best way to describe this game. Cheesy, but cute. And, um, it's, uh, yeah, the dialogue, some of the dialogue in some places I thought dragged on for a little bit, but maybe that it just felt that way because I had to voice everyone. Um, but yeah, this was a good one. The music was incredible. I loved the music. And yeah, I, I liked that it stuck with its theme of music being like, being able to change the world. Um, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I think it, I think this game really did its themes justice when it came to music and friendship and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be playing after this, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. Um, if you have any game suggestions for me, leave them in the comments below. Um, also, uh, follow me on Twitter at Axiom Archives if you uh, want to see updates. Most likely, whenever I start the new series, I'll be posting something on there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, for now, this is the end. I hope you guys had fun. I did, and uh, yeah, I'm rambling at this point, so I'm gonna end the episode. So, thank you so much for checking out the for checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to be notified of when I upload the next part of the files to the archives, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. All right, so it is a new day. We're gonna try and really quick find this last dance. According to scene select, uh, it's gonna be. I love the fact that they are doing mouth noises for all of these scenes. <laughs> but according to um the uh Thing. The final dance is right here. Play from this scene, yeah. So it's in this bird scene, so I'm thinking that I'll just cut to when I find it, but I'm thinking that it's like Hang on. Okay, we found it. Here it is. Hey now, Wanderer. You did good finding me here. I can feel it. Your soul. Your dance power. It's been growing all along, Wanderer. You've dug deep and found the dances sleeping within. I'm proud to have shepherded you on that journey. Now. One last time. Let's dig deep. All the way to the bottom. For one final dance. Oh no. 
Really? Really? Beautiful dance, Wanderer. That's a that's a matter of opinion right there. You've come so far on this journey into dance. I don't have more to show you. From here on, you've got to keep digging on your own. But don't stop digging, Wanderer. Don't forget about dance. Uh, no. Yeah. All right, so... You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so now if we go back to scene select... Uh, the if we go to the end... Uh, oh, do I have to go through all this again? I guess I'll cut it out. Let's see. Okay, so the dances actually don't have anything to do with that, I guess. Do you have anything new to say? Meow. Password, please. Uh, oh. So, is it the, I don't know what the password is. Hang on, I'm going to have to, uh, write it down or something uh the does it is it is it asking for colors because like the heart was pink i think the sun was orange the wind was green the star I don't remember what color the star was. Um, maybe blue? Uh, and then blue again. Triangle was for sure red. Chaos was that color, and then one was green. Or is it asking for dances? Hang on, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna really quick look it up because I'm genuinely confused on how to enter this password. I'm not sure if it's asking for the dance or if it's asking for song notes. Um, let me see really quick. Okay, so it is asking for song notes. Okay, so. Okay. So it is randomly generated, apparently. So I haven't looked up the answer. So the answer will be whatever. So let me go back to my notes. Um, so the heart was, uh, yeah, so pink. Maybe this one was orange. Wind was green. The star. I don't remember what the star was. Um, was it yellow? Triangle was for sure red. Chaos was blue. And then green. Okay, that would be why I'm getting it wrong. The storm was purple, not blue. So... Hang on. There we go. Meow. You solved it.
and Oh, interesting. What is happening? I could have sworn the storm was blue. Oh, that was creepy. I think I'm... Am I back in the dream world? This looks like the world... Oh. Oh, hey. You're here. My name's Gord. I did the music for Wonder Song. Oh, okay, cool. Greg helped write a lot, a lot of the songs, though. M wrote one, too. Campfire one. I bet you liked it. You found us. Yay. I'm M. I did all the sound design in this game. Which means I recorded and edited voices, ambiances, footsteps, and a whole bunch of silliness. I'm really grateful to have had the chance to be a part of Wandersong. I think it's really special. And I'm so happy to have helped to add something pos so positive to the world. I'm also super grateful that you've taken the time to play it. I hope you've enjoyed listening. We all put a lot of love and energy into how this game sounds. I think it's a really important part of storytelling. And that it can add so much value to listen. So it means a lot to me to have been able to work with Greg, who really cared about it, right from the start. We had a lot of fun making it together. It feels crazy now to be letting it all go. All I hope in the end is that you've kept some of the feeling that we shook out of our hearts. I hope that it feels good. Aww. Do they have, like, repeat? Oh. Wander Song was the first game I worked on, way back in 2016. It's what got me started in indie games. I've worked on a few since then, but this one has been my biggest constant. It's also the one closest to my heart. The themes that Greg explores really resonate with me, and I think they're super important ideas to spread right now. So it's been wonderful to contribute to that. For me, it's pretty interesting to look back from the beginning all the way to the end, and hear how the sound ha and hear how the sound changes. It was really easy to grow with this game, because we made each act a different theme sonically. There was a lot of experimentation. Time for some fun facts. There are 584 sounds. That's a lot for an indie game. Greg and I voiced most of the characters. Most of the sounds are recorded, so many of those sounds are my voice. A lot of the ambiances shift depending on where you are. There are so many silly details. So silly. Huh, so this is just the dev space. Would you be Greg? Hang on, let me... Go to the right really quick, see if there's anything over there. Okay, there isn't. Here, let me finish up with M and then I'll go back to Gord. Well, thanks for listening. Aw. It's kind of weird voicing real people because I don't know what their voices sound like, so I'm just kind of throwing out a random one. And I don't even know if it's close to their own voice, but uh, it's still like, uh, this is still really nice that they put in there. I'm not going to lie, this game was tough. As soon as I agreed to work on it, I was like, what have I done? But I knew I really wanted to work with Greg, and that anything he was going to make was going to be good. And I guess I must have must have been feeling like I wanted a challenge? I don't actually remember. But I knew early on there was a pretty big chance I was going to burn out, or screw up, or run out of music to write. This game has so much music. It scared the crap out of me. But hey, you're here. And I'm here. We made it. 2017 was a hard year for me. Something I thought I knew was true my whole life turned out to not be so true after all. The world had been has been so angry. And though I started on Wonder Song before then... It suddenly became a whole lot more important to invert cynicism for once in my life. I am cynical. I like cynical things. To contribute to something whose sole purpose is to make people happy. But not like shallow happy. 
like a sitcom or whatever. Really happy. To shine a little light for people whose lives are truly feeling, are feeling truly dark. I'm feeling way better now, by the way. That's good to hear. This is the biggest soundtrack I've ever done. It might be the biggest soundtrack ever. It'll probably be the biggest I'll ever do. It's like four and a half hours long. The plan was to be really minimalist so we'd finish, and I'd stuck to that plan until about halfway through Act 2. And then nothing was minimalist. I am super bad at minimalism. I recorded live performances on 24 different instruments in this game. I have no idea how many digital instruments are used. A lot. Oh, and you know that last big song at the end of the game? The one where everyone sings together? We got a choir for that. But not like a real choir. I just asked Twitter who wanted to sing for us. 75 people sang for us. Some people had fancy mics. Some people sang into their phones and laptops. Some people sang beautifully. Some people didn't. But everyone tried. And everyone cared. And that is what Wonder Song's about. Everybody trying. Everybody caring. And making something beautiful together. Even if it's not something you're... Even if it's not something you don't think you're good at, and everyone says, and everyone that said my voice is terrible and the choir was flat out wrong. <laughs> the same week I started working on that song, my wife and I found out we were having a baby. I don't know when you're reading this. We're due March 4th, 2019, so we may or may not have had it yet. I really hope it goes okay. I hope it went okay too. Yeah. Oops. And hey, you're here. And I'm here. We made it. We're just people that made this game. You can do cool stuff too. Just try. And care. See ya. <laughs> and you must be Greg. Hey. I'm Greg. I made this game. It's really great to meet you. Did you really figure out how to get here yourself? Uh... No, I had to remind myself of what the colors of the symbols were. <laughs> I had them all right except for the storm. I thought the storm was blue, but it was actually purple. Did you look it up on the internet? I did, unfortunately. I ha I I wouldn't have I definitely would not have been able to remember the color of the storm without having to re-go through my footage and I didn't want to do that. But like I said, I remembered them all except for one. It's okay if you did. Either way, I have a lot to say to you. I'm really touched that you came this far. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Thank you for playing. This game means a lot to me. I put a lot of love, thought, and effort into it. And it's really special to make something like that and share it with someone. I genuinely hope you enjoyed it. As I'm writing this, I have no idea what will happen when the game comes out. I don't know how many people will ever play it, or if anyone will ever even find this message. But if there is even one person who cares about the game, that makes it worth it to me. So I guess it's not just thanks for playing, but thanks for caring. I hope someday you can make something too and share it. It's so important to express yourself and the world needs to hear your voice. You can do it. You are special. And you deserve love. I really believe that. Wow, I'm... <laughs> uh, I'm actually getting a little bit steamy-eyed. That was... Uh... That, uh, yeah, that... Those words hit home a little bit for me. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. You can you can hang out here as long as you want. If you keep chatting with me, I'm going to talk about what it was like making the game. If that's interesting to you at all. Uh, sure, I have time. Before I started Wonder Song, I lived on my bicycle for five months and rode across the USA. Along the way, I met lots of people. I did something I didn't think I could. I was feeling really optimistic about life and humanity, and I wanted to make a game to express that. 
The first thing I made was the rainbow music wheel. Just that, floating in an empty void. I wanted to make a controller into a musical instrument, and make it feel as natural and fun as possible. When I saw it worked, more ideas started coming to me, then started pouring like a waterfall. It took a while to nail down the story. I had a plot in mind for a while, but it was missing something. Then I had an epiphany one day, and the idea of the Earth Song came to me. I remember crying a little bit when it did. That was the key to unlocking the shape of the story. My original plot idea became just Act 5. Oh, wait. Act 5 was... Um... The, uh... Chandesh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was the chapter that I said dragged. Um, that Act 5 was the Roulette Chandesh War. I'm sorry. I, I like Greg, if you ever watch if you ever watch this let's play, I'm sorry that I uh um I didn't I didn't mean to insult your original idea. Um it just like it felt long comparatively to the other ones and that was something that I noticed. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> and the world of Wander Song started to take shape. Act 1 came together within a few months. I I've made countless changes to it since then, but it was basically the same as now. My friends played it and thought it had potential. What I needed was sounds and music. I tried recording my voice to make all the sounds, and I wrote some songs too, but the game was asking for better than I could give it. Simply put, I realized the audio had to be amazing, and it was. It was really good. I really liked the music in this game, which meant I needed money, so I put it on Kickstarter. The response on Kickstarter was really wonderful. Everyone was so enthusiastic. The game quickly had more fan art than anything else I'd done. There were many musicians asking to work with me. It felt very special. Even so, I didn't know if I'd make it until the very end. And when I did, it felt like a miracle. Every step of the way, I felt like I was doing something a little too big for myself, and then just narrowly making it. It felt powerful. I met Gordon through some friends. His music for Parkitect had a really good vibe. He really believed in Wandersong, despite the modest funds and huge idea. And he was local, so we could work closely together. After a long search, I'd found my musician. M was his first hiree, and Wandersong was her first game. She brought so much enthusiasm to the, into the game. It bowled me over. So, we got to work. We made the game almost perfectly sequentially. Act by act. I would rush ahead, developing gameplay and writing scenes, then M would breathe life, breathe life into the game with audio. Gord was busy at first with other commitments, but he did eventually catch up. It took almost two years to work to the ending of the game, and then more months of refining, polishing, and fixing. I could talk forever about this. It took over my entire life for three years, but I'm going to stop here for now. Thanks for listening. We went and added some commentary notes to scenes in the game. Look out for those if you want to learn more. And <laughs> thanks for playing. It really means so much to me. More than I can put into words. <laughs> okay. Um. Hang on. <laughs> I like how it's in sync. Um, okay. So. I think that's everything. Turns out I didn't need that last dance to uh, get the. Um, to get the password. But I'm still glad I got it. And, um, yeah. Just to make sure, let me go ahead and 
Just make sure there's no other secrets. Okay. So, uh... There wasn't any other secrets. It was just... I, I was wondering if the, uh... Um... Dialogue from the masked... Uh... The masked person changed at the end of the game if you got all the dances, and it doesn't. So, uh... Yeah. That's the... That is officially the end of Wonder Song. I got the secret, um... So again, sorry I had to look it up. It was just that one, the one symbol I couldn't remember the color of. Um, but yeah, uh, so next week, I don't know 100% when this is going to go up, um, but taking this time slot is going to be a game that was requested by one of you, and I'm really excited. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Thank you everybody so much for checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to be notified of when I upload the start of a new file to the archives, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell, as well as leave a like or comment if you so desire. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Upload successful. Click here to view previous files. Have a pleasant day.